Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new series on clinical research jobs. This will be a bi-monthly series in order to help the freshers and experienced people alike when it comes to finding quality jobs in clinical research, clinical data management and pharmacovigilance. So before directly jumping into the jobs, it is very important that we learn the basics of job hunt and let's start from scratch in this particular video. So today we are going to learn about how to find a job in clinical research and related fields. Coming on to the big question, how to find a job in clinical research. So when it comes to clinical research, the jobs are highly specific to the requirement, qualification and skill set along with experience. So you have to learn about the requirements, about your qualification, what skill set do you possess and do you have the relevant experience for that job. Next important thing is the jobs in clinical research essentially are a combination, a combination of strong knowledge in fundamentals of clinical research as well as the experience that you gain through doing that job. If you are a fresher, focus on the strong fundamental knowledge. Next thing is the clinical research community vacancy and opportunities are tremendous. There are a lot of jobs available there, but it is analogous to a cell receptor in order to translate to a job. By which I mean is that if you are a correct fit to that particular job, then and only you will get that job. It is no point in applying everywhere and getting nowhere. So you must remember that. Last but not the least, we are going to see the five fundamental rules of finding a job in clinical research that will help you getting a successful career. So looking at step one. So first we have to look at job description. So this is a job description for the post of clinical research coordinators. Okay. So if you look at this particular job description, it is very important that you start looking at this description very carefully before even applying. First look at what the position is. So this is a CRC position. Next, where it is located. Third thing is, what is the experience required? What are the phases of the study involved in this particular trial? Next thing is, there will be a lot of concepts involved which are essential. So these are the concepts. And apart from the clinical research fundamentals, there is also a requirement for the GCP, the ICH guidelines. If you are familiar with Microsoft Office and how is your communication in Hindi, English, Assamese and Bengali. Remember these particular languages are required because you are going to directly interact with the study participants and that is why it makes your competency even more better. Next thing is look for your basic fundamental qualification. Now here it is required that the candidate should uh, be a pharmacy graduate or even a life sciences graduate will do or even the microbiology or molecular biology graduate will do. So look at the description from today. Start reading the description. The next example is a CRA job. Okay. So what happens in a CRA job? So you are one step ahead. So you have to look at the description in that context. So when you are a CRA, you would require to do this particular thing. Okay. So to conduct the visit. Now, if you have to conduct the visit, what are the site initiation visit? What are the interim monitoring visit? Do you know about the safety requirement of the clinical trial? Do you know what case report forms are? And once you are confident in that, you also have to focus on what the particular role requirement is, what you're going to bring to the team. Are you proficient in Microsoft Office? Do you know what the clinical trial management systems are? Are you familiar with the ATMF system, electronic data capture systems? How is your clinical research principles and processes and fundamentals? So this becomes very critical. When you go for an experienced job like a CRA, you also have to understand what your backgrounds are. Okay. So they clearly tell you that this particular will be our job requirement. So do you have that particular four year co uh, college degree? Do you have any training which depicts your education in clinical research? Do you have that certification in clinical research? Are you able to travel or not? Because CRA job 99% is travel. So please read the job description very carefully and step one in your job hunt will be a very good effect. Next thing is 
you have to match your skills and your skill set against your job okay so how will you do that first look at your qualification match your qualification against your job next thing what you will do is look at your knowledge now we have seen the job description so you have to match your knowledge base in case you are interviewed okay directly if you apply for a job and you don't have the knowledge for that particular job you are bound to get rejected next thing is your association to that job does your experience any way relate to that particular job are you able to do that particular job if you are trying to change the field then you must focus on compatibility so is your current job and a future job compatible in any way if it is not what are you doing about it are you doing any certification in clinical research are you trying to learn the concepts so you have to match your jobs against your skill set that is the second most important step now step 3 would be preparation of specific topics in clinical research for your particular job so the first step would be if the topics are new to you try researching about it try learning about it use available methods such as social media internet youtube so that you learn about the topics and you are very clear about it before the interview second thing is you must invest your time to understand the specificity of a job for example a job of a clinical data coordinator is very different than clinical research coordinator okay one is a desk related job second is a hybrid type of job so invest your time in understanding the specificity third thing is if you are not clear about the concept if you are not clear about what the requirements are try contacting the experienced uh, people or uh, professionals in clinical research and ask for your guidance this particular strategy has been very helpful for me and people help you out they are very good okay so try contacting experienced people and fourth thing is if you are not at all familiar with the job requirement if you want to switch your job if you want to progress your career in a particular direction then join an online or offline course or certification in clinical research so that you are competent in clinical research you have an established bona fide that you are trained in clinical research and the recruiter takes you way more seriously okay so this is regarding the preparation for job specific topics now coming on to step 4 you must apply only when you are prepared okay now a lot of people i see on uh, linkedin and other job platform that they directly go and apply so what this particular thing does is that 99% of the job applications are rejected just because you apply no mind when you are applying for the job just because it the position what you are looking is available you directly go and click on it but what it does is it creates a negative impression for the future okay if you are unprepared for the job and you are interviewed for that particular vacancy then in the future your particular candidature may not be considered okay and that puts a very difficult situation in your plate next thing is the impression so when you are under prepared then it can have a long lasting negative impression and similarly once you are fully prepared it will have a long lasting positive impression on your employment opportunities on that particular recruiter and final thing is your preparedness so it is very important that you are prepared thoroughly and your preparation will definitely make you more confident more eligible okay and it will make you the front runner for your job okay so it is very important that you understand what job requirements are and you have to apply only when you are ready because mindless job application does not essentially mean job if i am going to linkedin and i am clicking on uh, job apply it does not mean i am going to get the job you have to be the right fit for the job coming on to step 5 so it is very important to revise and rehearse why i say that is that no matter if you are doing a particular job for years or months you, it is always wise to revise okay when i say why to revise it means that whatever the knowledge base you have whenever you give a mock interview you are about to fail and that this particular thing happens with me also from time to time because we feel we are confident but when it comes to interview you can't give those particular answer in that particular flow so revision is important second thing is 
you have to take note of the new updates new technology new systems new laws what are the regulatory regulations in clinical research you have to constantly update yourself whenever you are about to go for an interview look for all these things am i update with all the rules and regulations are there any edc system that i should know about what is the inform version i am working is it 6.1 is it 6.2 what kind of cdms systems are we using so it is very important to update yourself third thing would be that when you are ready then go through the questions what the interviewer is about to ask you can imagine what kind of questions will come you have to evaluate your answer through a rehearsal try asking those questions to yourself and see if your answers are convincing enough to the recruiter and is the recruiter impressed with your answer you will definitely know that where you stand in your job hunt fourth is that this particular strategy of revision and rehearsal for an interview will only boost your chances of getting the job okay and once you have prepared the recruiters uh, always appreciate a candidate who is ready for the job a candidate who is confident and a candidate who can perform the job okay so these are the five fundamental and golden steps for looking for a job in clinical research so if you are someone who is looking for a job in clinical research who is looking to make a career in clinical research then uh, look no further Our friends at Clinical Aim Research are doing an excellent job by offering a 3 months advanced certification in clinical research with uh, the fundamentals of clinical data management and pharmacovigilance. So even if you don't know anything about clinical research, they will teach you about everything and they will also prepare you for the interview, which was the purpose of this video. So you have to uh, not only learn the concept but be prepared for the interview. So please go ahead and contact uh, on the given number and uh, you can enroll yourself in this excellent and amazing course so have a look at it so finally uh, thank you for watching this video make sure that you like share and subscribe uh, we are going to bring a lot of excellent updates and uh, job related news uh, bi monthly So make sure that you stay tuned and subscribe to this channel.